Hello there, I'm Chris Heilman, and today I want to show you a feature of developer tools that's woefully underused called Workspaces. It's not new, you probably heard of it, and if you haven't and you haven't used it yet, here is what it does. Now, here's a project that I have for myself. I have my VS Code, I got my browser, and I got my project on a folder on a hard drive. I drag it into Visual Studio Code to get started, and that opens all the files. It also recognizes if there's version controlling and all the little bits that Visual Studio Code is really good at. One thing that I normally do now is go to a terminal and start a local server. But the problem is that I then have to navigate to this folder to find the files. But there is actually a uh, terminal inside Visual Studio Code. So you can do control backspace and opens a fresh new terminal directly there in this folder. So then I all need to do is start my server there. I'm using PHP. So I'm using the local server that comes with it uh, and start it at 8000 as you would. You can close that because we don't need it any longer. I just want to navigate to localhost 8000 to see what I'm doing. And what I'm doing here is building a little gallery script that I've been blogging about that just goes on and just shows pictures from the hard drive. Now, I normally would start changing CSS, for example, if I want to change the background color directly in the code. So I change this one here to red, for example, save it, then I have to go over to the browser, reload it in the browser, and then I see the red here. I can go back again and change it to black again because red is a bit brutal and I load it there. But you see the problem already that I'm having is that every time I reload it, that automated uh, uh, slideshow starts and that's annoying. I basically just want to change one of them and do a bit of uh, more detailed CSS changes in there rather than doing it by hand. And this is what the developer tools, of course, are good for. So if I open developer tools right now, I actually can change all these things live and I can see the changes directly. So I can go to the black here and I can change it to another color. Again, let's do a darker blue or something that actually looks quite nice. And then we have that change in here. But the change is not persistent. It basically means I'm just changed it for this one. Would I reload the page right now or cause any error and reload it? All these things are gone again. This is not a problem if it's just one of those, but what if I do more right now? I inspect this one here and I want to change, for example, the typography of it. So I want to change the font size to something more like 1.7 AM. I put a line height in there that I didn't have before. And these are all changes that are now in the CSS, but they're not in my CSS. They're not persistent. If I reload the page, it's gone right now. And uh, to exacerbate things, this is in base CSS here right now. And this change, if we, tr if we try that one again, is actually in slideshow.css. So I've got two files to copy and paste all the changes that I've done in the developer tools over. And that's something that never really worked out for me. Now there's a tool in there that you might not know either yet, which is called changes. So if you just uh, type in changes here, you can see it and that one gives you like what has been deleted and what has been inserted. Now, this is already good. Uh, Firefox has a button here that actually generates a file with all the changes that you deleted, commented out, and the other one in there to make it even easier to paste it back in. If that's something that you think we should consider for the Chromium tools as well, please send me a line or, or tell me about it. I, th I think it's actually a really good feature. But in general, it's a weird thing that I do all these great changes. I've got these great tools, but it's not persistent and I have to copy and paste it back. And this is where the workspaces feature that I talked about comes in. So instead of just um, dragging this folder into VS Code, I can also drag it into the sources pane of the developer tools. So I dropped the workspace folder here right now, and then it actually created a workspace after asking me if I can get access to it. So if I allow the developer tools to change files on the hard drive, I now have the thing in my, uh, in my sources pane and in the developer tools. This means now, if I now go, for example, to the body here, and I do a change directly in the developer tools, it should reflect in my code. And you can see it up there right now in the body that the color background changes here as well. Same as like if I now start inspecting this one and change the, uh, change the, the setting here in the slideshow info, I can change the fonts again, I can change the font size and so on. And that one should, should reflect in slideshow.css as well. So if I go to that one, I see slideshow info right now, I got a font size of 2 a.m. here. And if I change that around, I got a font size of 2.4 and so on and so forth. 
So this means all the changes that I'm doing in the developer tools, in these great visual tools, get reflected in my code without me having to do anything. They automatically get changed. This is a feature that I will use from now on for everything because it's so much more useful. Again, it's not new. You might have heard of it, but I know the numbers are not high that of people using it. So it might be something that you learned.